Tomorrow does mark the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Our Morgan Brennan joins us live from the Kennedy Space Center with a look at what space companies are going to be doing over the next half century. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. That is a big question. I'm going to try to answer it for you, Carl. We talk a lot about so-called so-called old space legacy companies like Lockheed Martin or Boeing or Northrop Grumman or Aerojet Rocket Design. We also talk a lot about the billionaire-backed new space upstarts like SpaceX, for example, or Blue Origin. But there's also this emerging venture capital-fueled startup ecosystem. Take Astrobotic. It makes robotic landers. It was quietly born in the Carnegie Mellon Labs just over a decade, glo a decade ago. It flew under the radar really until recently. And CEO John Thornton says Astrobotic wants to be like a railroad to the moon. We offer NASA a much more affordable opportunity to regularly fly payloads to the surface of the moon. Um, and that's going to open the doors wide open to uh, scientists and explorers and technology developers uh, all over our country and all over the world um, to begin to understand the moon in much better ways and to begin to use the resources uh, and create the technologies necessary to live off another planetary body. So the company has almost $100 million in contracts, including some recent pretty high-profile awards from NASA to land payloads on the moon and gather research there. It currently has 22 employees, but is expanding that up to 60 over the next several months. And that's really just one example. Companies are working on everything from small rockets to 3D printing to moon mining to space habitats. Early stage investment firm Space Angels, which, by the way, invested in Astrobotic, says we've gone from a dozen privately funded space companies in 2009 to 476 today. Perhaps more significantly, about 50 VC firms a decade ago in the world had a space investment in their portfolios. That's gone up to more than 600 today. And guys, we talk a lot about so-called tech unicorns. There are space unicorns in all of these funding rounds now as well. You've got OneWeb, which has a manufacturing facility just a little ways away from here. They're manufacturing small, inexpensive satellites. You've also got Rocket Lab, which is doing these small launches to orbit, including some national security related payloads. But really, at the end of the day, when we talk about commercial space, you have to talk about SpaceX as well. Uh, because they've really pioneered reusable rocket technology and they've really driven down and continue to drastically drive down the price to go to orbit, the price to go to space. And they have been on the forefront of this emerging new space economy. Those lower costs are a big part of why you're being able to see all of these newer startups uh, start to take root and really start to pull in funding as well.